I don't think it's appropriate for bishops to pick one plan over the other. I've been blogging and sending out videos at my website, www.extremecenter.com, and in that, my goal has been to raise the quality of the conversation. Especially the one church plan is being misunderstood and in some ways not the whole story being told. And so I've tried to uh, help people understand the sort of unintended or unstated consequences of each of the three plans and help the delegates understand exactly what it is they might be voting on. I have not supported or endorsed any particular plan. My blogs, my videos have intended to raise the quality of the conversation and to dispel misinterpretations. Uh, Too many people are assuming the one church plan is a way of keeping the church together. Uh, when I claim that it's actually the one that leads to the most departure of people from the life of the church, it simply calls into account the idea that the one church plan has been misnamed and it really is the most divisive of the three plans. In a similar way, the traditional plan leads to more trials and more conflict and how we manage that is difficult. So I've not endorsed any one of the three plans, but I'm trying to help people understand them more fully and more deeply.